it's Marissa with the Umbrian Sewist. Thanks for joining me today. Today is a Friday Sews. Um, and it's probably been a couple weeks since I've posted. Um, I haven't sort of felt much like posting. I haven't felt very sociable. Um, it's hot here. Everything seems to be going wrong. And yeah, I won't elaborate because it's boring and you're here to talk about sewing. But <clears throat> yes, the days are hot. I live just north of Rome. And so yesterday and apparently today are gonna be 40 degrees, which is pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, so just sort of spend as much time indoors and then around 4.30 or 5, go to the swimming pool. And I plan to spend all day from 4.30 till 8 o'clock in the swimming pool. I plan to have a cheeky alcoholic beverage or two at the swimming pool to try to cheer myself up. Now, I have been sewing quite a lot. And um, I've pretty much made a lot of the things that were um, sort of on my plans to make the last time, excuse me, for the yawning. Very inappropriate, but, and I've made quite a few other things. So I shall just get stuck in and then um, share with you what I have planned to make. So the first thing I made, which I'm very pleased with, was the kimono style robe, which I will take out. Um, for my husband. Um, this was one of the patterns on the Great British Sewing Bee last year. I believe it's in this book, um, but it is a free pattern I found. I've got the A0 printed because the pieces are giant. And these are the instructions, so not massive. So if you're a beginner, probably will be a bit tricky. Um, it is a unisex pattern. It comes in size 36 to 48, so pretty small size range. I made my husband the size 48 because um, basically I just thought it should be roomy and, um, the sizing seemed really odd to me. So I don't know if these are the finished garment sizes here, but anyway, um, the, I'll link to this pattern below, but, uh, but yeah, it was easy to sew up really, really nice to make. And I used, um, this lovely cotton that I purchased. Now I'll put in a picture because obviously this is giant. Um, oops, S threads. Sorry, I'm multitasking, fil filming and snipping threads. Okay, so um, yeah, so it, it's hard to sort of show this because it is sort of so giant. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. Um, Really nice cotton. It was, I think, four euro a meter. And so I got quite a bit of that. I have enough left over to make maybe a shirt for my son or something. But yeah, I'll put in a picture here of my husband wearing it. Very, very nice. He likes it very much. And it was a success. And um, yeah, not much more to say about it. I would really recommend the pattern if you're looking for a sort of lightweight, loose um, robe. So the next um, thing that I was going to make was a shirt for my husband and a shirt for my son in this fabric here, which is sort of all these dice because they wanted to wear matching shirts on game night. So I made the tried, my tried and tested made by me patterns, junior t-shirt for my son. And I made the t-shirt version and for my husband, I made for the first time the Sinclair pattern Kai semi-fitted crew or v-neck. Now I made the crew. Um, the nice thing about this pattern is you can get it in the tall size. My husband has a really long torso and struggles with things being a bit cropped. So I printed off the, the tall version. Um, this particular pattern comes in, I believe quite a good size range. Um, if I could actually get this out. And um, let's see, I made my husband yeah, so it comes in a um, US 34 to 64, and what that means is a chest of 34.6 going to a chest of 58.3, waist of 30.7 to 57.1, and hips 36.2 to 57.5. And I made my husband the 46, 
Um, I slightly rounded up on a few of them because, you know, I didn't want it to be too tight. Um, and it actually worked out super well. So I'll put a picture up of the two of them here. But I'll share with you my son's shirt just because it's smaller. So this is it. I believe it's like, I don't know if it's a cotton jersey or a viscose jersey. It feels like a cotton jersey, but it's also, I don't know, very stretchy. But yeah, super cool pattern um, that I'm sure that they will enjoy making and or making, wearing. And um, yeah, so like I said, I have a picture there for you to see both of them. Now, the next um, thing that I got made up, which I believe I talked about, was a sunset shirt, which is a lovely waves and wild pattern. This is a super lovely collared shirt. It goes from a th zero to three months to a 12. Now, I just cut out the 10. My son is not even eight yet um, because I just wanted it to fit him a bit longer. It fits perfect. It's maybe tiny, tiny bit long, but like I figured that wouldn't be a problem. It does come for, with lots of views. So these obviously more appropriate for the younger child. I just made a shirt with the pocket. I didn't do the button pocket, I just left it open. And I use um, some beautiful fabric that I purchased with this in mind, which is this Evalekin design um, whale cotton. Super lovely. The only thing is I'm missing buttons, which are in the post. Things do not arrive quickly here. And um, so hoping to get these before we go to Seattle. But yeah, I'm super pleased. I did all of the um, flat felt seams, so there's no raw seams. Um, it's just a really enjoyable um, sew. And um, I have plans to make another one, which I'll talk, talk you through. I did struggle a little bit like with the making sure that I cut these out correctly since it is directional, but I figured since he's going to wear it like this that you'd want the collar pieces to sort of face the same as the shirt. But anyways, very, very nice. Really enjoyed making this and look forward to making um, the other one, which I mentioned I have plans to do. So then the next set of makes are all um, sort of bags. So I am going to Seattle in two weeks, two weeks from today. And I have sort of some gifts that I wanted to give people and I thought it'd be fun to give them, give the gifts in bags that they could reuse. So I'll show you some of the bags. So this is the first bag that I made. You can see it's just, um, it's got a nice pocket in the front. I use the webbing um, to sort of hold the pocket in place. Um, and I put a little um, label here, which is just a heart. And uh, I m created this with um, French seams. So I didn't line it, but there's French seams here. So it's a fully, um, should last a long time just because of that. So this is for one of my nieces. Um, but yeah, I just thought it would be a cute bag that they could carry things around in afterwards. So that's the first one. Now the pattern for this, I basically made up. So I just cut out um, a shape and yeah, that's very easy. So I, you can see I did a double um, fold here. Um, a double fold here. And um, yeah, it should be really nice. The next one is very similar style. It's in this lovely cotton and steel fabric I've had for ages. I put on a cute little label, which is a heart with a smiley face. Again, it has a nice pocket. Um, this one I boxed out the corners because it was sort of slightly larger. So it fits super nice. And then the last one is this, which I also believe is cotton and steel fabric. I put on a little pineapple label here with a cute pocket. So this one's a bit sort of shorter and larger. And this is full of home handmade clothes for my friend who has a little girl who is um, a little over one. So those are the, the, the bags that I made using sort of my own pattern. Then the last thing I made is this Ellie and Mac tote to go pattern, which is a free pattern. You can pick it up on their website and you can see it's sort of like a massive chuck everything in bag. 
And um, there's a few options. You can see here's another nice picture. You can see all these things. I did it with this zipper here, and I guess probably the webbing and the way that this is made um, kind of got me thinking about the other bags. I did make this one first, and, um, or no, I didn't make it first. Anyway, um, I decided to use webbing instead of making your own strap. So this pattern says you can, but also gives you um, a piece to actually make the straps. And I will show you what I made. So this is all fabric. All of these bags are fabric in my stash. This is um, sort of a thicker canvas fabric that I've had in my stash for a long time. No idea where I got it. Put in a nice pocket here with a nice sort of rose gold zipper and zipper pull. It's inside, it's this sort of, thought quite nice, it matched quite well. Um, this sort of tan with a red stripe. Then you put um, sort of two ties, so if you wanna tie the top when you have things in it. And, um, but yeah, it's hard to sort of show it to you, but you can see here, nice big bag. No raw seams and yeah, really, really nice. So I'm planning to bring this to the States. You can't really see. Just give you perspective on the size. Um, but yes, I thought that was quite fun. Again, quite satisfying and an enjoyable one to make. So as far as my plans, um, there's three things I really, really want to and need to get made up in the next two weeks, which I don't think will be a problem. And the first one is another shirt for my son and a matching shirt for my father. Because my son thought it would be fun to have a matching shirt with his grandpa, and I know my dad would enjoy that. And so I'm going to use this pattern for my dad's shirt, which is the Tropical Shirt by Wardrobe by Me. I bought this to make one for my husband, which I still will, but I will first get one made up for my dad. And again, for my son, I will use this sunset shirt. Um, this tropical shirt looks like a really good size range, 2XL to 4XL. Um, I'm a bit nervous about selecting the size. Um, I believe I'll make a large for my father, but I'm not 100% sure. I need to look at that a bit more. It says the pattern is designed for woven fabrics and has seven and a half inches ease in the chest. So that's what's kind of making me lean towards um, the large um, because, yeah, he said his waist is 37, hips 39, but that's also relying on him measuring himself properly, which is questionable. And the large is waist 36.25, hip 42. And I didn't actually have him measure his chest, but I think I'm gonna make the large and just hope for the best. But yeah, that would stink if it didn't fit. Anyway, I'm using this fabric from my stash. My son sort of originally picked it out. And it's a quilting cotton, um, but it's quite a cool quilting cotton. It's sort of like an old time print, which you can see here. Um, and my father was an airline pilot, by the way, so I thought that was worth mentioning. My husband, or my husband, my son, picked out this to be on his back, this red plane. So I would do the same for my father. But yeah, it's sort of like, it's old time, sort of, I don't know, reminds me of postage, like how you used to send airmail postage. Um, that's quite a cool one too. So hopefully I will have enough. It Obviously it's quilting cotton, so it's not super wide. So I'll have to see, but um, I've already cut my sons out. So this piece would just be for my father. So hopefully that will work out. Um, it looks like quite a fun pattern to make. I know Claire from Stitch Hem So has made it a couple of times and has found it relatively straightforward. So I'm hoping that I will too. And then the last um, thing that I'm going to make, which is um, a collaboration with Claire from Stitch Hem So, is the Sorrento jacket, which is this here and it's a sew over it pattern. Now, I would have gotten started on this, in fact, but I was waiting for some supplies to arrive. I've actually cut everything out. Um, I'm using this quite dark denim with a tiny stretch. And I was just waiting for some of the, um, the buttons, the jeans buttons, and actually what I was really waiting for is the jeans needles. So I'm planning on doing all this top stitching in a gray, which I thought would look nice with silver buttons. So watch this space. I shall probably um, 
I don't know what I'll do first, the shirts or the jean jacket. And then if I have time, which I probably will, not necessarily for all of this, but I've cut out um, two pairs of the R&D pants. I cut these out quite a while ago. One of the pairs cut out in this lovely um, viscose linen. So quite nice and drapey, but enough body and it's in this beautiful sort of steely blue color. And then the other one that I cut out is quite a fun one. And it's in this really cool sort of stretch cotton, which you can see has a nice stretch and it's very tropical. And I actually really quite would like to get those made up. And then the other two pairs of pants I got cut out are the Anna Allen um, Pomona pants, which I've made several times. And I've cut those out in a gray viscose linen, which is just like the other one. And then the other ones are in a navy blue wash cotton, which is absolutely lovely to wear in the summer. Now, um, the Arden pants are fantastic. I've made those several times, although I am making um, the this version. So I've made mainly this version. So I'm making this one. And then for the Pomona pants, as I always have, I'm making the wide leg version. So um, a bit of a speedy one today because I just got a message from my husband that I saw that he is stuck at the mechanic and I need the car in 10 minutes. So I better figure that out. But um, I really appreciate all of you sticking around. I know I've been a bit flaky these last few months. I will um, hopefully get out another video or two before I head out. I will be in the States for a couple of weeks. I'm going to Seattle. Um, I will hopefully buy some things, but I don't know. Like I'm really enjoying sewing through my stash and um, given I'm trying to find a job which seems to be very difficult, I would like to probably limit my spending, but which is really boring. But anyway, thank you so much for joining. I hope that you're all well. I hope you're not as hot as we are here, wherever you're watching from. And I hope that you all have a great weekend and happy sewing. Talk to you soon. Bye.